Hey guys, in today's video we've got a lot of new product to look at. Stay tuned! So guys, in today's video I want to give you a heads up about what's to come on the channel. And there's a lot to talk about in this video. So let me clear the table and show you the first things. This is the first car I want to show you guys and this car really looks amazing. So this is a brushless car, full wheel drive, ball bearings, metal gears and a lot more. So th therefore I bought this little car. So this car has got a lot of similarities with some other cars which I recently reviewed. And I think that this car will go pretty fast. And with some experience with the chassis of this car, you know, I think that we can hit the 60 km an hour. But let me get this out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. And here is the car guys, this doesn't look impressive, but this car really is impressive. So this car has got a brushless setup, ball bearings throughout, metal gears throughout, metal drive shafts throughout. And I paid only 65 bucks for this car. Yes, you heard it right. So this thing is truly awesome. So this car has got only one big flaw and I will mention that in my review video about this car. So I'm not sure if I already posted this video uh, before or after this video, but you will find out if you, were, if you watch my channel. But this car is really amazing. So let me get the body. I'll just show you all the magic just look at this guys this is an amazing setup so in the past i reviewed cars with a similar setup and these are actually pretty good so right over there is your 4000 kv brushless motor we've got a two-in-one receiver esc combination sitting right over there and this one has got a 35 amp esc built in and this is your three wire servo all the way to there and these servos are actually pretty good well if it's the same like the other models so with the cheaper models like this normally when you press down on the front and you try to steer this doesn't do anything but the, in the previous models I reviewed these air servers are actually pretty strong and I like them so inside this car you will find metal gears ball bearings inside the metal drive shafts metal cups and the suspension parts and everything is just very very strong so yeah this car really looks promising only this car has got one big flaw and I will mention that in my review video so I think I already posted this video if I did I will put the link down below so you can watch that review video after this one so let's have a closer look now at some other items that I bought the next thing I want to talk about are these two cars and these are the MGX Hypergo. Well, this one is and this is a clone of the MGX Hypergo. So about a week ago or something I posted a review video about this car and then I posted a comparison video about both of these cars and I really suggest to watch that video as well because this is a very surprising car. As we all know the MGX Hypergo is just an amazing car. It's fast, it's durable, you know, there's only one big problem and that's the steering servo but overall this car is just truly amazing. But if you want to save some money and also want to have a very good car this is a very good option so this looks like the similar you know if you look at these two cars you know they almost all are identical but underneath the body there are a lot of differences so yeah if you look over here you can see a lot of differences between these two cars but this will save you a little bit of money and this car is actually pretty good and it really surprised me and do you recognize this setup well maybe from the previous car i just showed you you know these cars or these setups are just very nice and and these are also affordable as well so therefore i really like them so yeah if you didn't see that video i will put the link down below as well so you can watch it after this one so let's have a closer look at the other items now the next item I want to show you are these beadlock rims and I paid only 25 bucks for 4 pieces and that's an amazing price especially for all metal beadlock rims so therefore I bought them and there's a second reason why I bought those so these are made by GRC Racing which also makes these little things so what is this? well this is like a cooling fan for on top of your motor but with a, with a simulation engine on top of there and these things are really amazing and they make a couple of different ones in styles you know for example this is like the big V8 ones but they also make like the LS7 engine or something like that and I really like the quality of these as well so therefore you know I thought let's buy some rims of them so let me unpack those and show you the quality of these rims I just noticed that they have placed some images of other products that they are selling including the, the, those different engines so this one is this one right over there but as you can see they are making a lot of different ones and I really like those but let's have a close look at the rims themselves so here it is guys so this thing is all made of a metal just look at the build quality this really looks amazing so this is your inner ring also made of metal and then you've got an outer ring also made of metal and the weight to these are very very heavy so let me grab a scale and place those on the scale so including some screws so this will weigh around 160 grams for only one piece so let's add all four of those to see what the weight is 
So with all four of those installed on your car, you are looking at uh, 650 grams, which is just amazing if you're looking for some more weight down low inside the wheels. So yeah, the build quality and the weight of these rims are actually pretty good. And until now, I really like those. So I don't know on which car I'm going to install these yet, but yeah, we will find out in the future. So let me put this aside and show you the other things that I bought. And here is another car that I bought guys and this thing really looked amazing on the pictures So I had some big plans with this car just to transform this into a hobby grade RC car Or throw the body onto an FMS car for example or something else or make it for wheel steer But unfortunately yeah, in real life this car looks a bit different than the pictures of the factory So let me show you the factory pictures right now as you can see this car really looks amazing on the pictures but in real life it doesn't look as handsome as the pictures but let me unpack this car and show you it in real life And here is the car guys, just look at it, this looks totally different than the pictures and I'm a bit disappointed about that. So I really had some big plans with this car, you know, just put this body onto another car or something like that or make it proper hobby grade. But you know, this is all toy grade and yeah, I'm not so happy about that. So you will also get a little button right over there, so when you insert this little plug and when you press the button, then your lights will turn on. And this is just for demonstration when it's sitting inside the box, so yeah, let me throw some batteries to show you when this car is on the car is powered on it just look at it guys this thing really looks funny so this car doesn't have any headlights or tail lights this is just an all light up body or something like that and it really looks funny of course you know during the night or during the evening this will clearly be visible but yeah I, it's not really my style so the yeah the, the remote control is very cheap you know it only turns on when you press a button so the steering is full the way to the left full the way to the right so non-proportional the same with the throttle yeah full refers to full forward and then that's it. So this is more like a toy grade thing. Well, it got some speed. Just look at it. It's got some decent speed to it, you know. So if you're looking for a toy grade car, yeah, maybe you should buy it. So I paid 25 bucks, I think it is, for this car. So if you're looking for a toy car for your kid, you know, just to play around in the living. So yeah, maybe this is a good car. But if you're like a hobbyist like me, yeah, this is not for you. Alright guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.